Okay, welcome back, folks. We are looking at test four, the math numerical reasoning paper for students who are preparing for the 11 plus from the book eight to nine years old. You have 10 minutes to do this test. Work as quickly and, and accurately as you can. A chicken farmer has 820 eggs in, should be, should be in an incubator. Or oh, in incubator, okay, that'll do. Only half of the eggs hatch. How many eggs hatch? So you have 820, we divide it by two. So that'll give you four, that'll give you one, that'll give you zero, and that'll give us a nice answer of 10. Okay, move on. Kabir, round the number to the nearest 10. The number he rounds to is 110, which of the following could have been Kabir's original number. So if you look at 1110, and there's 120, and there's 100. So we round, it's going to be in this region here. So anything from 105 all the way up to 1, oops, that's the wrong thing number there. Give me a second while I just delete that. Oops, I don't want to do all of that. Let me get a rubber. Okay, that's better. So 110, if we get to 115, that would actually be round up. So that everything up to 115, but not including 115. So question number two, the number that we're looking for, that would be up to 115, but not including 115, is 113, is the largest number I could have picked from here. So if you pick 115, it'll actually go up. So really, in actual fact, we can only pick up to 114 as a whole number. Okay? So the 115 is theoretically the limit at which you'll go up to 120. So the number is 113. Question number three. Okay, Hazel has three cats. Right, let's get rid of some of this. Let's rub some of this stuff off. Each cat has four kittens. So you have three cats, they got four kittens each, so we have 12 kittens altogether now. Five of the kittens go to new homes. How many cats and kittens does Hazel have left? So you have seven kittens left. And don't forget there are three cats as well in the first place. Three of the, three of the cats. So you're going to do three, add the seven, that will give you ten. Three cats and seven kittens. And that's in that question. Question number four. Right, let's get our rubber. I'm going to make some space here. The grid shows three points of a square labeled A, B, C. Give the quarter the point that would complete the square. So that would be here. So maybe we go along the corridor and then up the stairs. So you're gonna go five along the corridor and one up the stairs. So that would be five, one. Let's see if you can actually draw the rectangle there. Roughly that's how it is, because the picture slightly slanted, that's right. Okay, lovely. Let's move on to the next question. Question number five. Okay, question number five. On Carol's 30th birthday, she gave birth to Sharon. On Sharon's 27th birthday, she gave birth to Emily. How old was Carol when Emily was born? Okay, so question number five, what we need to do. She was 30 when she had a daughter, and then her daughter was 27. So that'll be 30 plus 27. That'll give you 57. Sharon was born in 1965. In, in what year was Emily born? So Emily was born on Sharon's 27th birthday. So 1965, add 27, and that will give us an answer of 1992. Okay. Penny is buying some bread, milk, and a packet of crisps. What happened to the beans? The total comes to £4.11. She gives the shopkeeper the following coupons. How much does she have to pay? So she's saving 44p on the bread. She's saving 53p on the milk. And 62p on the crisps. So let's add up her savings. So your 4 at 3 is 7. 7 at 2 is 9. 4 at 5 is 9. 9 at 6 is 15. So she's saving a pound and 59. So we have 4 pound 11 is the total. Minus her savings. So that's calculation. We've got to work out for number 7. And when we work that out, that gives us an answer of 2 pound 52. Not forgetting to borrow what you need to. The different pieces ordered at a restaurant are shown in the pictogram below. Pepperoni, Hawaiian, spicy veggie, barbecue chicken, and here's the key. 
So each complete p uh, picture of pizza represents four pizzas. So that's uh, four, eight, twelve, and that's going to be three quarters of four, which is three. Twelve by three, that'll give you fifteen. That's three quarters of four, which will give you three. Four, eight, add the one, nine. Four, add two is six. So we've got some totals now for each of those. Which of the following statements is true? Circle the correct option. Ten pieces were ordered in total. That is obviously wrong. Because we already had 15 here, 3 here, 9 here, and 6. So that doesn't make 10. The barbecue chicken pizza was twice as popular as Hawaiian chicken. 6. Yes, it is. Because 6 is double of 3. Correct. B is the answer. Let's move down to the next question. Each pizza, oops, I'll move down too quickly. Each pizza is cut into 8 slices. How many slices of Hawaiian pizza were ordered? Let's have a look. Hawaiian. We had uh, three pieces here, three pieces. So we're going to cut each of them into eight pieces. So eight times by three. So that will give us a total of 24 pieces done. A video game normally costs 20 pounds. A shop has a deal on for the games. Quarter of the price of every game. How much will Robin save if you use the deal to buy three games? So there's 20 pound a game, time by three, which is that'll give you 60 pound in total. And it says you save, you're gonna be saving a quarter of the game price. So it goes at how much will you save? So we've got to work out a quarter of 60. Quarter of 60 means 60 divided by the denominator, which is the bottom number, times it by the numerator, which is the top number. So that'll give you 15 pound. This incomplete sorting diagram shows shapes with an even number of sides and shapes containing only obtuse angles. Question says there, which of the following shapes can be placed in the shaded area of the diagram for number 11? So it's going to have even number of sides and only contains obtuse angles. Obtuse angles are angles which are more than 90 or less than 180. So something typically looking like that. Only obtuse angles, not this one. This one's got two obtuse angles. And this one's the acute angles here, not that one. These are all right angles, not that one. And these are all acute angles. So it has to be C. So you see all the obtuse angles here. And they have the even number of sides because it's a six sided shape. Next, last question. Let's get moving. Okay, which of the following shapes would not fit in the sorting diagram for number 12? So we got to have even, even number of sides. And this shape has got an odd number side, which is A. And thank you very much for joining us on this video. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for further videos. See you on the next video. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.